Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here with Yakuza Online. Uh, it's a gacha game that I just started playing because I was reminded that, it, one, it existed by a friend. So I really love Yakuza. Um, I started, I think, around the, the first PS3 game, and it's been years since I've uh, have played some of the other ones, but I really like Yakuza, is the, the end of statement there. Uh, but when this released, I think over two years ago, maybe, um, I think someone, a friend of mine had told me one, it was, it kind of looked like War Collection, but at the time I had War Collection, so I said, I don't need another game like War Collection, uh, then War Collection died on me, and now here I am playing Yakuza Online, because I was reminded, I was like, oh yeah, Yakuza Online exists. It's kind of like this other game I really like, so, uh, I've been playing with it, I've been having a, my buddy Kaze kind of give me some of the brief... Uh, steps into it, but you know, let me just go in here. So Yeah, also forgive me if I don't remember absolutely everyone's name. I'm just gonna be doing some story stuff here um, As you can see this follows the new hero of uh, Yakuza 7 Ichi I think that's how you pronounce his name Ichi the one from like a dragon um, You start with him you literally have him I think as an R character uh, This is my team right here the leader skill here, and then this has, I think, boss skill, I think. Either way, I should go in. Let me actually go in here. I'm still early on, so a lot of that stuff doesn't matter, and later on I unlock PvP. I'm also going to skip this. There's a lot of story in this game <laughs> with a lot of cutscenes. I have no idea what any of them say because I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> uh, you can see him animate, though. Uh, but now that we're done loading, we'll actually go into the game. And I also really like how this game looks, and I like how this game plays. It kind of reminds me of War Collection. Let me go here. Uh, so first, let me start here. As you can see, it auto-goes. It's on 3x speed. But yeah, you can push up here, and you'll do like a special skill. Or you can go up here. Oh wait, this is good. So here's something that's completely new to this one. Here's a bike. I'm now just going to hit you with the bike. And I have a certain number of skills with it, but, uh... So yeah, I can press up on here, as you can see, and it'll activate their skill if I want to hold on from them. If I press this button, they'll just auto-use the skill when it gets to that point. And finally, here's the other part of it. Um, their suit- their ults, I think, is what it basically is. Uh, go here, here... Ah, that was bad, but it's okay. But I got him. And that's based off of your heat gauge right here. Oh, I got a trash can! Let me hit him with the trash can. Eat trash. Eat trash. This game is really fun. <laughs> There's a... I like the style, I like the substance, I like the characters, I love Yakuza. I'm having a hell of a time playing this game right now. Um, the only thing I kind of is a bummer is that there's so much story, but I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's currently going on in this game, and there are event exclusive characters. What in the hell? This might accidentally also spoil the events of Yakuza 7, but I don't know what happens in Yakuza 7. Um, I don't know if it's 100% following the story, if it's doing its own thing. As you can see here, everything seems fine. Oh no, nothing is fine. That is fully I'm gonna shut up. Oh man, I kind of wish it would get localized, but based off of some of the things that specifically the main dude behind Yakuza has said, the reason it's not coming over to the West is because it is a gacha system. Um, and <laughs> I guess they're like, hey, even though people like Yakuza, we don't know if people will like a Yakuza gacha, which I say, release the damn thing. <laughs> I would love to have it um, uh, on my side, so... Um, there also seems to be a PvP, but I have not unlocked it yet, so I kind of have to get to that point. Um, I really hope that once I unlock it, it's going to remind me a lot of Ore Collection, but we'll see. Like, like I have no idea what the name is currently going up on the screen. Not fully voice acted either, but that's fine. I just wanted to see if there's another special cutscene. I didn't know that, uh... Let me see. Doesn't look like there's gonna be one. Like I said, a lot of story, so we'll just skip right ahead. If you want to experience the story in Japanese, I encourage you to play this game. 
and I got it on Cool App if you ask. So let's get back into it. All right, let's see. But yeah, your heat gauge kind of fills up, and sometimes it depends on. I assume like this character, like Kiryu over here, was able to give me two heat gauge because of something he does. Um, like everyone has like different stuff that they do, and I. <laughs> I really wish to get to the harder fights because these cost 9 and I have been unable to use any of them. And it's mainly because all my partners are like level 100 and they instantly destroy everything in their field. There is also a downloading, I think it's a relatively small download but you can download all the data. I should actually finish doing the download all. That was okay. Not the greatest, but not the worst I guess. And... oh. When I'm actually playing, I actually put it on times two speed, I think. I think it ends up being pretty good at two times speed. I think it was the same way with War Collection, is that I eventually learned how to play in two times speed. But yeah. Yakuza Online. This game... So, let me back up and actually show something else. <laughs> Just to go... It's like, well, how much of his uh, Yakuza uh, gotcha is it? It doesn't really have all the Yakuza stuff that I'm looking for. Well, don't worry about it, because if you go here, you can go on host estates. This is one of the menu here. It's downloading currently. Go here. You can earn points in this, too. And this is also fully, like, hello. Can I talk? Do I have, do I even have the ticket? Oh, you're also very good looking, too. But I can only talk to one of you. So you can see here, it's fully voice act as we talk to this beautiful woman here. You're giving responses. Now, if you've played a Yakuza game, you know that the Hostess Club, you're supposed to get, like, answering correctly will give you um, a higher heart. Um, but here's the thing. I don't have... Uh, again, can't read Japanese, and as you're about to see real soon, I don't have much time, so if you click this, it'll give you one or two options. One will be excellent, and one will be good, and that's what I use. Uh, it does seem like there's a reason to do this as well, so, um, I would suggest, I guess you would have to do it. I don't know if you have to do it, but I've been doing it, because there's a daily mission tied to it. And if you get this one right here, it'll always tell you which one is the excellent. And the middle one will give you extra time, but extra time only gives me just enough time to actually translate what's on screen. I am playing on blue stack, so I'm able to kind of translate on the fly, but for the most part, it's real tough. And I wish I knew what she was saying. Ah, shit! Okay, um... Okay, let me click this and then see if I can quickly translate on the fly. Ah, uh, then let me talk. I will consult you. No consolation. Uh, then let me talk. Yes! <laughs> I did it! I talked to the lady! <gasps> I didn't know that you could talk so well, Wookie, is what she's currently saying to me. She's enamored by my talking. But please, lady, my mouth is up here. Please focus on it. Wait, what? That didn't even make sense for what I was trying to do. Doesn't matter. I impressed the giant boobied lady, so I'm happy about it. So click through here. Like I said, a lot of text. Wish I knew Japanese or this was translated and I got some points for that. So that's cool. And then this guy goes like, would you like to stay longer? And I go, no, because I don't have the right currency to continue playing. So um, you have this right here, which kind of lets your dudes go out. And that's pretty fun. I don't have any of that set up at the moment, but if you wanted to play baseball, <laughs> but like on a mobile phone, <laughs> Then this is the mode for you. I don't think I have, uh, I would lose one ticket doing this. Uh, I mean, it's baseball. I'm not gonna waste my ticket because I think I need that for a daily, so I'm gonna keep it. And this is the Christmas event actually currently going on. Uh, Kaze told me that it's actually pretty good that I started now because I can actually just do lotto. And when you do lotto, it's literally like, Lotto tickets. <laughs> you just go into the lotto and I can get this reindeer man if I get four of this character face. I didn't though. So, shame. Shame on everything. And if I so please, I can just go here and that will auto complete a lot of the stuff here as I look at what I stuff, what I get. Also, these little medals will also give you a way to summon on the gotcha as well. So that's very nice of them. 
It's very nice. I think there's a lot of cool stuff in this game, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Um, so far, I've been very impressed with it, and I'm impressed enough for me to do a video. I don't know if I'll do multiple videos, just because I'm pretty positive there's not many people who are <laughs> interested in me playing this kind of game, but... Um, whatever. This channel has always been about what do I like, and this is what I'm currently liking. So I'm going to end this with an actual summon. Um, just to show, I guess, the summon screen, because I think it's actually pretty cool. When you start the game, you have, like, 72 hours with, like, three specific banners. Um, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, this one is worth summoning on, and this one is worth summoning on, but not this one, so... Something to keep in mind. This one you should do because you can only do it. Just you should prioritize this one first. Wait, do I get to just pick? Is that is that what's happening here? Oh man, I should ask my friend Kaze if, <laughs> which one of these I should pick. So I'm not going to summon on that real quick. I'm going to um, go here. There's tickets, of course. I'll do these. Five of these, just to show off the system at least. And the gotcha system is actually kind of nice because it's actually a gotcha pawn machine. There's a dragon. It looks like I didn't get anything. But it's fine. Ew. I got one new character. That's something. Go here. I'm sure there has to be more. Yeah, here are the... Let's see if I can get lucky with the medals. These will at least guarantee me an R. Some words pop up. Oh, I think that means I'm getting an SSR. One, two. So here's the other thing is that when you click on the ball, it has a chance to change color. So let's see if this one does. It didn't change color, so I guess I just didn't have... Learn every day. Uh, the game also has a bunch of different art style for a bunch of different characters. Some of them are 3D models and some of them are like anime art, which is... Real interesting, the different clash of styles is not something, usually a gacha has like one style of, like you can see here, anime uh, girl, cool anime guy, like this one looks sort of manga-ish in some style, and this guy's straight up just a, a 3D model. Very different. See all these characters, 3D models. Uh, 3D model. That's a fucking tiger, which is the, the tiger from Yakuza 2. I mean, apparently this banner is also pretty good that you can get here, but... Uh, Kiryu is here. Here's Majima. When I started, Majima and, um, the Tiger were together, so... Yeah, that's Yakuza Online. I'm gonna keep playing. This game's fun, uh, and I just wanted to share it with people. So, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you stayed till the all, of, all the end of it, I don't know. Leave a like, man. Like for me doing something different. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.